proved by induction, de Moivre's theorem. De Moivre's theorem says r times the cos theta plus i sine theta to the power of n is equal to r to the n cos n theta. So you can bring the n down in front of the theta plus i n theta for n belonging to z plus. So write down the proposition to begin with. So just write down the proposition. Now what we're going to do is prove true for n is equal to 1, which is the first one of this set of numbers. So the left-hand side will become r cos theta plus i sine theta all to the power of 1, which we can see is r brackets cos theta plus i sine theta. Right-hand side will be r to the 1 cos of 1 theta plus i sine of 1 theta, which again we can see is r brackets cos theta plus i sine theta. These two are the same. Therefore, the true, it's true for n is equal to 1. Next step. Assume true for n is equal to k. So r cos theta plus i sine theta to the power of k is equal to r to the k, brackets cos k theta plus i sine k theta. Now prove true for n is equal to k plus 1. So we've got r brackets cos theta plus i sine theta to the power of k plus 1. So that's going to be equal to r cos theta plus i sine theta to the k times another r cos theta plus i sine theta. Now r times, sorry, this is equal to this according to the assumption. So we've got r to the k brackets cos k theta plus i sine k theta. And this stays the same. So we're still going to multiply by r brackets cos theta plus i sine theta. Now r times r to the k is equal to, this is from the assumption, so r times r, r to the k times r is r to the k plus 1. And then we're going to multiply that by this. So we've got cos k theta times this bracket here plus i sine k theta times this bracket here, just expanding brackets now. So expanding out, we're going to get r to the k plus 1, then we're going to get cos k theta cos theta plus i cos k theta sine theta from doing that times this, and then we're going to do this times this. So we're going to get i sine k theta cos theta, and then i times i, which is i squared, so we're going to get i squared sine k theta sine theta. Now we know that i squared in complex numbers is equal to minus 1. So this would just be like minus sine k theta sine theta. So that's going to be a real number. So we're going to put the real bits and the imaginary bits together. So we're going to have r to the k plus 1 cos k theta cos theta minus i k theta sine theta plus i. And then the imaginary bit will be sine k theta cos theta from here. And this plus this bit is reordering them a little bit. Sine k theta cos theta plus cos k theta sine theta. I'm just going to write that line out again. Now from our trigonometry, cos of a plus b is cos a cos b minus sine a sine b. You might recognize that pattern there. And sine a plus b is sine a cos b plus cos a sine b, you might recognize that pattern there. So a is going to be k theta, b is going to be theta, so this will become r to the k plus 1 cos k theta plus theta, a and b, plus i sine k theta plus theta, same idea here. The common factor here of theta, so we're going to factorize that out, so we've got r to the k plus 1 cos k plus 1 theta, plus i sine to the k plus 1 theta. This is the result that we wanted. Remember, we can bring down the power in front, so the power is k plus 1, so this is the result that we wanted. Therefore, true for n is equal to k plus 1. Final step, write down the statement. The result is true for n is equal to 1, and if it is true for n is equal to k, it is also true for n is equal to k plus 1. Therefore, the result is true for all and belonging to positive integers by the principle of mathematical induction.